Yeah, I was watching it live. Um, I was just sitting on my couch by myself. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, I thought something that like really stood out to me was like how much women's basketball was a part of the show. I think it shows where women's basketball is going, and obviously women's athletics in general. Obviously, Serena did a tremendous job hosting, and um, I think that was great. And but to me, like you know, Juju won, Asia won. I won a couple. Um, I think it just shows the excitement around the game and how many people watched and paid attention and where the, where it's going to go. What did it mean for you to be the first woman to win best record breaking moment? Yeah, I didn't know that until my little brother sent it to me this morning. Um, I think it's super cool. I think it it probably shouldn't have been the first woman to ever win that award in my eyes, just because you know I grew up supporting so many different you know female athletes that I idolized and I loved and. The amount of records that I saw people break and win, like to me, like how does Serena Williams never win that award? Like that's that's crazy. Like um, just thinking about things like that. But um, I mean, hopefully it's the start to you know women getting more recognition and you know their accomplishments being recognized a little bit more. But um, obviously it's it's cool. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's not something you would have guessed, honestly. Um, so, but for me, it's just something I'm really grateful for. What's kind of the process been like for you, just? Almost learning to exist with so many eyes on you, both mm -hmm. on the court and off of it. Yeah, it's definitely difficult. Like, I mean, it's not anything like I would ever want to change. Um, you know, it's something that's super special. And to me, like, I still feel like a normal person. I try to go about my daily life the best I can. But at times, like, there's just things that I can't do that maybe somebody else could. Um, but it's for me, like, it's cool to see the excitement in our community of how many people support us and. Not only here in Indianapolis, but when we're on the road too, like the fans are great, whether we're I'm out to dinner with some of my teammates, whether we're going to the game. Um, so I think that's just something that you have to adjust and plan for and get used to. And um, just to see how it's evolved from my you know, career at Iowa, I feel like just yesterday I was a freshman there playing in front of you know, nobody during COVID. And then, you know, even the year after that, like our arena wasn't sold out every single game. Like it was like half full. And by the time I was a senior, it was a really hard ticket to get. And now it's obviously the same here as a, as a professional. And um, I don't know. I mean, I still feel like a young kid that just loves basketball and loves the game and loves being around people and my teammates and my friends and family. And that's try to how that's how I try to go about my life, honestly.